Once upon a time in a fantasy land far away there was a city of Norwich and there were elections and him who doesn't pay taxes, dwarf workers who definitely hide something, a talking cat and someone just blew up a tear shop and there was also a you, a cleric and only government employee who seems to care. But that's not how your adventure will start. In the beginning, you die. Hello and welcome friends, today you will see a preview of the Disco Elysium like CRPG called Esoteric Ebb. <sighs> and to say that this game impressed me is like saying nothing at all. Just imagine you playing Disco Elysium with all these dialogues and skill checks, but you are in fantasy world, surrounded by fantasy creatures. And even more, you can cast spells. Whoa, this game really have everything to become a masterpiece. But let's start from the beginning. And in the beginning there were a character creation. Yes, you will have a lot of stats and actually these stats will define your hero. How you will solve your problems, in which way will you rely on strengths, or maybe you will choose dexterity, or like I am, I rely on intelligence and wisdom. And believe me or not, but I literally fail every skill check in this game, so maybe intelligence and wisdom is not good choice at all, at least so far. But ok, let's go to next feature. Just like in Disco Elysium, everything will be decided during the dialogues and skills checks. Probably it's better to say stats checks, cause stats will talk to you. Suggesting you to do that or maybe to do this or never do something like that. But the final choice is up to you. That looks very familiar. But I heard there will be a combat in Esoteric Cab. Yes, there will be a combat and believe it or not it will be drone based. But again, you will have dialogues and stats checks divided in different rounds. And it's really unique, I never see something like this before. Quest can be solved by different ways, right now I am trying to take the crossbow from this goblin. And you can do it by simply fighting, just go and take it if you are strong enough. Or maybe you can try to steal it if your dexterity is good enough. Or maybe just talk to him and persuade him to give this crossbow to you. You actually will have a health point, so be careful with fighting, you can lose your health point and even die. And by the way, no matter how hard I try to get this crossbow, I never get it, I fail everything. So wisdom and intelligence choice for a very hardcore players. Your character will have inventory and while you cannot take this helmet off, you can equip additional items like this broken sword giving you plus 1 to strength and minus 1 to wisdom. Excellent choice, let's equip it. Or maybe this is a Terrick pocket watch, plus 1 to intelligence, excellent choice. And what this crystal do? Actually if you fail a skill check, you can use this crystal to try once again, very useful item. And it cannot be equipped. It's just an item. And by the way, on the right side of the screen you can take a look at your stats, your health, hit dice, hit points, experience. Yeah, yeah, there will be experience in this game. And you will be able to level up. Amazing, just amazing. You never was able to level up in this realism, but here it can be done. And while your plan is a cleric and your intentions in general is a good intentions, morality here is very flexible. You can bribe or blackmail, sneak and steal and break into other people's buildings. Also, you can pickpocket almost everyone. Everything to fulfill your duty. I guess only you will decide what kind of cleric you will be. And probably I forget to mention that Esoteric Ebb is full of humor, light humor, good humor. You will like it. 
Another very interesting and unique feature is called the questing tree. Your choices in dialogues and how you solve certain situations will unlock certain nodes, and these nodes will represent your goals and ideas. They will help you to track multiple leads and you will have multiple cases to solve, and in future they will even unlock a unique dialogue options, and maybe some unexpected events, who knows. You will not travel alone, this goblin will be your companion. And I promise you a lot of fun and very interesting situations with this little green tricky fellow. And if you think that that's all features this game can offer, no, I just can't end my story without telling you about spells. Spells will play a special role and will add a lot, I really mean a lot, charm person, oh that spell is just irreplaceable, cure wounds, detect evil and good, detect poison and disease and later you will have even a spell that will allow you to talk with the dead, just imagine it. All of this is done by a single developer, Christopher Bodyguard, and I know him, I talk with him, this game will be finished, and it will be something special, in my personal opinion, is just must have. A little hidden gem that will shine so bright. Friends, I will leave a link to this game in the description of this video, you can go and check it, and I want to hear your opinion about Esoteric Cap, so drop me a comment. I was very glad to see you all, and I will see you in my next video, so meet you there, friends!